As you've discovered this week, your job as a technical editor is to serve as the reader's advocate. You have the burden of adjusting documents so that the reader will get their message on the first read. You've read about a number of principles that can inform the editor's work. I'd like to offer my more precise version of those principles. I call them the rubrics for assessment of writing. I use them in my own writing and editing and in grading student writing. They are simply the concepts content, form, style, and mechanics. Content is the rubric that embraces the answers to the questions, what are the documents audience, purpose, and origin? What are the document's central idea and supporting details? Form is the rubric that embraces the answers to the questions, what is the document's structure? And is the document subject to an applicable format? Style is the rubric that embraces the answers to the questions what sentence structures are appropriate for this document and what diction is appropriate and finally mechanics is the rubric that embraces the answers to these questions what level of attention to grammar does this document require what special care with punctuation does this document require? And what special attention to spelling does this document require? So with these rubrics, let me give you a couple of examples of a preliminary editorial assessment of a document. And you might pause this lecture at this time and examine the document which is available in the resources number two folder of BB Learn. When I look at the um, rubric of content for this document, I've chosen content first because with it we can see the document at a macro level. And when I do that, I notice, for instance, that this document identifies the reader as an autopsy technician or embalmer. It also identifies itself as a set of instructions. And it identifies its origin as a company in New Zealand. When I look at the same document through the rubric of form, I notice that it has a three-part structure. This top section looks like an introduction. This middle section seems to be the body. And the bottom section here seems to be the conclusion. Now this structure is of course typical of all messages formally organized, whether they're written or spoken. When I look at the same document through the rubric of style, I begin to see some discrepancies between the way this document is written and the way it should be written. For instance, the introduction has this bulleted list, but with only one item it's not really a legitimate list. The repetition here in the introduction of the root produce in the two words products and produced is a bit of a distraction. This first step in the body is in a structure that's inconsistent with that of the second step and in fact the structure violates the standard syntax for instruction writing. And finally, the expression NB, or nota bene, may work in New Zealand, where Latin is perhaps more commonly taught in school, 
but this document should not assume a knowledge of Latin among international readers. Finally, when I look at the same document through the lens of mechanics, I now look more closely at the micro level of writing. For instance, the expression multifunction needs some attention because multi is not a word that can stand by itself. The expression rigor mortis as a foreign expression needs some typographical enhancement to distinguish it from other English words. So with these four rubrics of assessment, I can systematically and comprehensively examine a document in any context, whether technical, scientific, or otherwise.